Let's go ahead and get started. I think this should probably be, uh, it should be possible for this to be pretty short. Um, the pipeline has in it a bunch of things, but nothing that's uh, a big surprise at this point. Um, we will, we have, uh, we have a, a maintenance viewer in the pipeline now. We have the Bakes on Mesh and Animesh project viewers. Um, and the project that Bakes on, or rather, uh, Animesh will probably be going to release candidate very soon. Um, we're waiting for the server side support for that to roll to the main channel, but that's almost certainly going to happen soon. And I think we're pretty close to being ready to call that one sufficiently cooked. Um, Fear, any any uh, comment on that? Uh, let's see. So on the Animesh viewer, um, there's there's not a ton left to do. Need to do a little more validation on the. Uh, LOD bounding box changes. Um, so I think we should have a, an RC candidate viewer uh, fairly soon. Um, on, in terms of Animesh server, uh, we need to see about that. There, I, I just got pinged about something um, today that is showing some kind of anomalous logs in at least some of the RC regions. So uh not positive that we're on track for getting that out quite as soon as we thought but uh we'll find out more hot off the presses info there um let's see so but if but uh, once once that's uh once that's sorted then uh yeah we should be we should be on track with that as well um so yeah that that's coming along and then bakes on mesh uh there's a bunch of bug fixes uh, that'll be going out soon, and um, so that sh so you should be seeing a uh, project viewer update for that. Uh, also, uh, probably uh, next week sometime. Okay, cool. That that still counts as soon. So. Um... And uh, we have a maintenance viewer in the pipeline, and uh, the EAP viewer is probably not too far behind all the rest of this stuff. So, but that has that won't be rolled to the main grid until we can roll a couple of backend services so that we have all the appropriate inventory system support. Um, that's still. Still coming, um, yeah. Uh, so uh, we're we're getting there real soon now, um, but uh, not quite out the door yet. Um, those are the those are the big ones. We should have uh, a viewer soon that revamps the texture cache system and. Um, in an attempt to make that faster and and larger and have other nice qualities that will be good for performance. Um, yeah, that's TCO. Yeah. Um, and that's for extra cash something. <laughs> um, uh, Yeah. Um, e A M. I'm failing to. Oh, oh, uh, that's getting real close. We uh, thank you for the reminder. Um, that was held up by uh, the a server side change that was needed for. 
fixing group invites and and uh, friend invitations. They turned out to be a little bit more complicated than all the rest of it, but um, they are um, both the viewer and server side components of that are now um, getting into QA. So um, we'll see. We'll see what the what the story on that is. DUI, not coming up with an expansion for that that makes any sense. Oh, oh, yeah, <laughs> the separate window thing. That at that point, this at this point, that is still a speculative uh, concept that we haven't actually got anybody working on yet. Um, so that would be very cool. Uh, I wouldn't expect that anytime this year for sure. Um, um, yeah, we're taking an entirely different, we have an entirely different idea about how to do that. Uh, but, <laughs> um, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, that's, that's something I'd like to have sp spent some time on, but, uh, I can't promise that we'll actually get to it anytime soon. Um, so I think that's basically the, the viewer pipeline at this point, and in fact, much of the server pipeline too. Um, since at the moment, lots of stuff that we're doing affects both. Um, and I think that brings us to the end of the monologue portion. So, floor is open. Uh, I think before we can get to multi-core graphics pipeline, we're going to have to spend some time on, which we haven't really started yet, on uh, figuring out what we'll do about the open G GL situation for Max, because we have to do that. Nothing to discuss today. The cap on offline IMs. Um, that's one of those things we will uh, probably be making better for premiums in the coming months. Yeah, I think that transparency thing, um, we've got somebody working on that. He keeps showing up to status meetings with weirdly transparent body parts.
Ra, uh, Bucci, Crimble, a Dow Dow, Seagog. Well, Navo. I'm just getting pinged by other people in chat here. Um, sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, we're not going to, we're not planning to add volumetric water. And I haven't figured out a way to charge for inventory, so. That doesn't seem like it's likely either. Yeah, I think there's a there's a backwards compatibility problem with charging for inventory, so I don't think we're going to be able to do that ever. Yeah, in Pokemon, you have to pay every time you want to add some additional storage.
Uh, well, if if all we're going to have to talk about is the crazy rumors of the week, um, I have I have uh, a weekend of partying to get ready for. When is LO going to implement the legacy names again? Uh, well, we are we are working towards um, being able to offer the ability to change names. Um, at this point, the plan is that none of the old names will be available to change to. Um, so that isn't part of the plan. Um, so in that sense, the legacy names are. Just that, legacy names. Um, no, we're not going to do anything with display names. They'll continue to work exactly the way they do now. Right, well, it, it'll be a new list of last names, and you'll be able to enter your own first name. And it will cost you something in real-world currency. And I don't know how much because we haven't decided yet. Uh, the plan is to take suggestions for last names, yes. Although we haven't figured out how we're going to do that, but that's all right. Well, that's easy. So, um, but we have some we have some bugs to fix on various systems that would be. Uh, befuddled by names that change. So until we have done those changes, until we have got those fixes deployed and we're confident of them, um, we can't introduce the name change feature. But we are working on the on the on those bug fixing things. Yeah. No, there's no technical reason that none of the old last names will be brought back. It's just that people assign value to having names of a particular era, and uh, we figured it's just not worth bucking the bucking the uh, attitude. So that's, that, right. leaves me, that leaves me with a question then. Um, because we have partnerships here in SL, if somebody gets married, will they be able to change to a um, legacy name? It is, it, is, it is not the plan that you will be able to change to an old name. You will have, There will be a new list of names. Okay, so anybody who has a legacy account will be able to change to the newer names, but not the other way around. That's right. Okay, that makes right. sense. So, you know, if you want to use last names to to uh, align with uh, partnerships or clan memberships or political party affiliations or whatever it is that you want to do, then you can you can. Uh, you can all agree on the same name you're going to change to. Um, but, uh, but, and I, I, it's it's still a little too early for me to even begin guessing how quickly we'll be able to do all this.
asked, did y'all do anything with the um, land management functions? Because I know there was something in going on about that. The yeah, land. it's those are those those are um, in QA now, I think, or about to be. So we should be seeing those pretty soon. Um, there's a simulator change that needs to go that needs to go out, but it'll it'll probably be ready within. Uh, I mean, it's it's queued up behind something else right now, but um, we should be able to get it out in the next few weeks. Okay, was that also going to include an increase to the number on the ban list? I don't remember. It does provide new um, ways to edit the ban list and much more information about what's in the ban list, like when something got added and who added it and that kind of thing. Okay, will that also include a time limit for temporary bans? I, I don't remember. But it will tell you, you know, sort of when things were added, so you you can always do that yourself, and you know you get a nice, a a, a reasonable sized uh, list window instead of the little whatever it is four or five line window that you have right now. Uh, actually, group voting is still there. It's just ending the votes that's not there. <laughs> um, I don't know. What is, is that, is that a feature people actually think was worth something? I'm, I, I don't, as far as I know, it's, it's never, it's never worked right in the whole time I've been here. Uh, one of the things we have a fix for is group notices that are, oh no, it's group invites that are that are were delivered when you were offline. So we have a we have a fix coming for that, but that does that is a 
both a server and a viewer change um, because what we've done is shifted things so that um, getting your getting the note the messages that were queued for you when you were offline will now be um, done over a cap HTTP cap instead of being delivered as UDP. Ah, so you're moving that to HTTP instead of leaving it instead of it being UDP. Right, right. So it'll be a it'll be a call that the viewer has to make when you log in to to pick that up. Yeah, it, it did get it got partly done, Kitty, but it, the change that was made didn't handle. Uh, friendship invites and group invites correctly. So that's the one that's still in the pipeline. Turns out that they have some extra interesting qualities. Yeah. So. That's an interesting idea, Elizabeth. Well, have to think about that. I think I think that is I think that is pretty much it. Yeah, I do think that is illegal, although I know it does happen. It's uh it's against the Terms of service. Bye, everybody. See you next time. Never clona. Bon Iba Nochi Latini Bo. Blabadoo Zigo. Latucci. Just getting to see you early. Sabo. Sabo Vicha. Vika Bozak.